Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about algorithms during DevOps. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, why am I being asked to write algorithms during DevOps interviews instead of just DevOps related scripting? Because the people who are hiring you either don't have any idea what it is that you do or they have an internal requirement where they say that everybody working for us should be an engineer because they should all be able to understand each other or you're actually uh, misaligned on what you both mean with DevOps. Let me explain this a little bit. So the mismatch in expectation on uh, education and understanding and so forth between uh, stakeholder and software engineers, it's always going to be there. It's never going to change, I think. Uh, there is no way for you to um, to know that when you're signing up for a company, that when they say DevOps or they say front-end engineer or this whatever they say, like th they actually know what they're talking about. They, because there is no strict definition for what it is. So if you're a DevOps engineer, for a lot of companies, what you actually are, you're not just an ops person who does some scripting. You're a full-fledged developer who has a good understanding of uh, uh, virtualization, vir uh, VMs, containers, cloud solutions, and uh, CI and CD pipelines and automation, stuff like that. And uh, of course, they should also be able to ask you to do some uh, do soft regular software development. And the this is the main, like the really, and this come down, it comes down to semantics. Because if you don't know how to code and you're not a developer, depending on how you look at it, then you are an ops person. And an ops person can absolutely get away with some scripting, but if you're going to be a developer and an operations person, you're going to have to be both. It's like being a full stack developer. If you're going to claim that you are a full stack developer, you will need to understand both the front end and the back end. And this is a role that is much, much, much bigger than the one thing, like one part of the thing. and you can absolutely are uh, for me like uh, for me a devops person is literally it's literally that it's the same side of uh, it's the same sort of person and i think that a lot of a lot of companies look at it the same way as a full stack developer it's but it's a different type of role where you're supposed to be 50 50 well you're never 50 50 but the same sort of thing so while you're getting while you are getting algorithmic questions it's because they expect you to be a software developer and unless and for quite a lot of the companies the way you tell if someone is a software developer or not or if they're any good is with code interviews related to algorithms and so forth and what's funny is that even though you might spend the majority of your time as a devops engineer basically doing ops work which is for the most part dealing with infrastructure and configurations and log systems, CI pipelines and performance issues and on calls and like all of this stuff. <clears throat> Even if you do just maybe, I mean the people that I work with that have this as a role, they do some coding, like they, ha we, they have a few applications that they own so they actually do need to know how to code but the, di the distribution of work at least in the in the companies that I've seen, it's usually like 20-80. So it's 80% so opposite related work and maybe 20% coding, but the coding is still there. So unless you know how to write software and actually know how to make applications in some language, it's depending on the company, it's going to be really hard for you to swing that you are a DevOps engineer. Uh, and uh, th this is where I like, uh, this is where that mismatch comes in. You may think that in one company, just because they have you doing operations work, I mean, they're, you, they, they're gonna use the word DevOps anyway. It's the same thing with microservices. Mic everything's a microservice today. You can literally throw microservices at, at anything that is a distributed uh, system. And people will just, uh, because they, it's ambiguous to everybody. It's, uh, there is a definition, sort of, for the thing that is supposed to be the thing, but, uh, that's really only something that the people who really are into that stuff uh, pay any attention to. It's the same sort of uh, same problem that you have with uh, front end or like whatever you're talking about. If the company doesn't really have a like a really clear picture of uh, what a DevOps engineer is, 
they're just going to use that word because it's the closest thing to the thing that they need and that's the thing that is important not what you say that you are what they want you to be because that's what they care about they don't care what your title is so what I want you to take away from this is that if you're facing algorithmic problems or that you're asked to write algorithms as part of your DevOps interview it is because quite a lot of companies look at you as being a 50-50 split between a developer and an operations person and that's why we say DevOps well technically it's not really the way the reason why we say DevOps it's a bigger concept than that but for a lot of companies that simplistic look view of what that role is about this is why they're they're asking you to do algorithmic problems and so forth and doing some basic scripting sure that might fly if you're going to be in a company where they kind of just they, where they are really only looking for a operations person to at least through like like 80% of the time the the thing that you're going to do is the op stuff and then they say that they need a DevOps person because that's the word that people are using now instead of ops person. So like these semantics games that we play guys, they're really ridiculous. It doesn't matter. Like what matters, the only thing that you can really go on is what are the expectations that you need to meet? And then you can take your title and wipe your ass with it and throw it out unless uh, you both speak the same language in the company because nobody cares what you call yourself they care about what you can do have a great day